This video is based on the fantastic flat earth observations of observable reality. He only has 25 subscribers at this time. So please head over there and subscribe. The link will be in the description. Observable reality's location is the Wanapum Dam in Washington state. His observations are from two locations and we will be looking at both. From the two camera positions, which were both very low to the water, we are going to show clear evidence that the accepted ball model is demonstrably false. The two camera positions and their coordinates are provided on the map. As you will see from the video, his camera is right above the water with a camera height of less than seven inches or 0.6 feet. At this very low camera height, the maximum distance to the horizon would only be 0.95 miles under the globe model. Again, the horizon's maximum distance under the globe model at 0.6 feet observation height is only 0.95 miles. From his first camera position, we have a distance of 9.04 miles from the camera to the east side of the Vantage Bridge. With his camera at 0.6 feet above the water and a distance of 9.04 miles, 44 feet should be hidden. Now, let's watch the video evidence. Look at this eastern section where the bridge begins. At first glance, it doesn't appear as though any of the bridge is hidden by a curvature, but let's make sure. I'll zoom in a bit. It's a little cloudy, but you can see the slope of the ground from the water that rises up to the bridge. What's great about this is that we can compare the footage with a second video pointed at the same bridge section at a much closer distance of 1.6 miles. There's the same slope. When comparing the two images, it doesn't appear as though there is any curvature obstruction at 9.04 miles when a minimum of 44 feet should have been hidden at least according to the elevations provided by Google Earth, this entire east side of the bridge at 37 feet above the water should be hidden. All 37 feet should be hidden by the Earth's alleged curvature. Here's a quick view of what it looks like from the road above. Remember how the horizon could be no further than 0.95 miles at 0.6 feet observation? The rocks in the next video clip are 3.64 miles away from the camera at position 1. Once I zoom in, you can see a horizon further than 3.64 miles. Again, the globe model fails horribly. Now we're back at the second camera position. In this clip, Observable Reality will be filming the Wanapum Dam at six miles distance. Here's what the Wanapum Dam looks like at street level. You can see that the dike is not very tall at all. In fact, Google Earth says the dike is only 14 feet off of the water. Again, observable reality is six miles away from the dam. At the same observation height as his first position at 0.6 feet above the water, 
in this case, 17 feet should be hidden, and absolutely none of the 14-foot dike should be visible. Just one more point I want to make about the horizon distance. Remember, the maximum distance to the horizon could not exceed 0.95 miles. Here the cameraman is looking at Vantage Bridge. This point is 1.6 miles away. Without question, many miles are visible beyond where the globe horizon should be. It looks like the horizon reaches all the way to the dike, which was 6 miles away. Do you think that the hump of water that should be in front of the bridge simply disappeared but left the bridge unaffected? I don't believe in such nonsense and neither should you. I was just about to end the video here and then Observable Reality went ahead and uploaded another globe busting video today. Now he's at 26 subscribers so please show your support and subscribe. Observable reality was at the same camera height at 0.6 feet off of the water. You do have to appreciate the risk he's taking by filming so low over the water. The new coordinates for this third camera position are provided. The location was 3.28 miles to Vantage Bridge. We are going to determine whether the globe horizon distance of 0.95 miles holds up. Observable reality was also 7.7 .7 miles away from Wanapum Dam. Remember, it has a dike height of approximately 14 feet. The observation height of 0.6 feet is the same, and so the horizon distance on the globe model stays at a maximum distance of 0.95 miles. The hidden height for the Wanapum Dam at 7.7 .7 miles distance equals 30 feet. If the globe model is correct, the entire Wanapum Dam dike should be well hidden behind the purported Earth's curvature. There should be a big wall of water in front of it. Here is the video evidence. Okay, so one of them dam, part of it, uh, 7.7 .7 miles away. There it is. Vantage Bridge was 3.28 miles from observable reality's camera position. The horizon was supposed to be less than 0 0.95 miles under the globe. And the horizon is clearly miles beyond 3.28 miles. That is a huge globe fail. Or maybe you believe wizards caused the hump of water to selectively disappear, leaving the bridge behind. And how can I convince wizard zealots otherwise? In addition, you can see the Wanapum Dam Dyke, 7.7 .7 miles away, which only has a height of, of approximately 14 feet. But under the globe model, 30 feet should be hidden. The dike is not hidden. That is a second globe fail. How can you independently minded skeptics doubt such overwhelming evidence that you can personally gather yourself? Don't trust us. Go out and do it yourself. 
Thank you, observable reality, for these indisputable proofs of the flat Earth. You don't really need calculators or GPS coordinates or maps to see the flat Earth here. Just look at the footage. I don't think it's so difficult to understand. You can see it with your own eyes. The water has no curvature to it. And you can see how perspective works with these different sized boats. And no amount of sophistry and deceptive arguments are going to fix the globe here. I don't know what the future brings, but I exhort everyone to keep fighting for the truth so that we together can break this spiritual and mental ball and chain that has enslaved humanity for far too long. Thanks, everyone.